So this is my uh, this is my HTML file, and it's just a simple HTML file with uh, with four images, four ping images, um, and I've labeled them according to how my manifest file is going to set them up. So uh, again, the only thing that's set that's special about this uh, to make it uh, load the app cache is this manifest attribute in the HTML element. Manifest equals the uh, manifest file here. Um, now what this does is the browser is going to read this, creates an app cache when it sees this, and it goes to the manifest file and reads it. This is the manifest file. It's very, very simple. It's just text. It always has to start with this uh, cache manifest up in the top. And this uh, hash just means that this is a comment line, so anything here the browser will ignore. Uh, I've put a version number here. I'll talk about why in a minute. And then I have my three sections, cache, network, and fallback, which I explained. Uh, but I'll show you some examples of how they really work, and then hopefully it'll make more sense. Um, so I'm going to save this right now. And uh, you're going to be working with, uh, with uh, FTP probably when you're doing these connections. So let's cancel. I'm going to connect real quick. Okay, now I'm connected to the server. I'm going to go up to. I'm going to go up to my folder that I've prepared, and you can see now that I've already uploaded uh, these files onto the server, um, and they're they're the same. This is the server over here, and this is uh, my local hard drive, uh, and you can see I've just got the example. Uh, HTML file, the manifest file, my HD access file is up here, and then here's the four images, and it's the same thing over here. These are identical right now. Uh, so when we pull up the browser here, uh, you can see what I've got. Uh, now this is this is online, this is live, and uh, I've got the four images. Uh, now you'll see this last one is broken, and that is as it should be because it's actually not specified in the cache manifest. You see I've got one, two, and three, and then a fallback for three to go to one. Fourth is not mentioned, that's why I put no comment here. And so what happens is uh, the first time you load the page, it will, it will show up uh, because it hasn't read through the cache manifest yet. But then if you were to refresh, then it's going to go based off of the cache. So the first one follows the rule, um, will be cached and displayed. The second one will be grabbed off the network since you're online, it'll show up fine. The third one here, um, it'll first to try and get image3.ping and you're online so and it's the resources available so it works fine. The fourth one is not specified in the cache manifest so it doesn't load it at all. This is another reason why you don't want to be using uh, you don't want to be using offline cache just for a casual website because if you ever forget to put a file in the cache manifest, then it's going to break, even when you're online and it, and it has access to it. So.